Hello everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for all things Salesforce Trailhead. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce Trailblazers. In today's video, we're diving into the Implement Rollup Summary Fields module on Salesforce Trailhead. This is a powerful feature for automating calculations across related records. By the end of this video, you'll know how to describe roll-up summary fields, create them, and secure them with field-level permissions. Let's get started. First up, what exactly is a roll-up summary field? Think of it as a calculator that lives on a parent's record and performs calculations based on its child's records. It's perfect for scenarios like summarizing total sales, counting related records, or finding the earliest date in a data set. But there's a catch. Roll-up summary fields only work with master detail relationships. This means the parent-child connection between objects must be tightly linked. For example, an account object summarizing opportunities is a great use case. Now, let's see how it works. There are four types of calculations you can perform with roll-up summary fields. Count counts the number of related records. Sum adds up values like revenue or prices. Min finds the smallest value, such as the earliest date. Max finds the largest value, like the highest price. Each type caters to different business needs. Let's now jump into creating one step-by-step. -step. Here's how to create a roll-up summary field in Salesforce. From Setup, go to the Object Manager and select the object you want to work with. For this example, we'll use the Account object. Navigate to Fields and Relationships, then click New. Select Rollup Summary as the field type and click Next. For the field label, let's enter Sum of Opportunities and click Next. Choose the related object, Opportunities, as the summarized object. Pick the Rollup type, in this case, Sum and select the field you want to aggregate, such as amount. Review your settings and click Save. Pro tip, if you can't see the field you need to aggregate, ensure Advanced Currency Management is disabled, and that's it. Your roll-up summary field is now ready to go. Here are some more examples to illustrate this. On an account, a roll-up field could show the minimum revenue from related opportunities. You might use the min rollup type to find the earliest opportunity created date for an account, or calculate the total price of all products linked to a single opportunity. Rollup fields can save time and provide valuable insights at a glance. Now it's your turn. In the Trailhead Hands On Challenge, your mission create a rollup summary field that calculates the total expected revenue from all related opportunities. You'll need to work in your own hands-on org, so click Launch to get started, or select a different org if you prefer. Let's dive in. First, navigate to the standard account object. You're going to add a custom field called Potential Value. The field name should be auto-populated to Potential Value. This roll-up summary field will calculate the total expected revenue of every opportunity linked to the account. One important tip before you start. If Advanced Currency Management is enabled in your Trailhead Playground, make sure to disable it for this challenge. Once the field is created, it's time to test. Open any account record that has related opportunities. Look for the Potential Value field and ensure it displays the total expected revenue correctly. If it doesn't, double-check your field setup and try again. And there you have it. If everything's working perfectly, congratulations, you've completed this unit. Amazing work. Let's quickly recap key takeaways while you head back to the trailhead to verify your steps. Roll-up summary fields help automate calculations on parent records based on related child records. They work exclusively with master detail relationships. You can use different roll-up types like count, sum, min, and max to fit various use cases. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Declarative Academy, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Got questions or need clarification? Drop them in the comments. 
we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and keep blazing those trails. See you in the next video.